Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So recently I had an epiphany and that was that everything in my life comes back to my energy levels. When I'm feeling energized on any given day, everything in my life is better. I'm in a better mood, I'm more productive, I'm more focused, and most importantly, I'm a better mom because I can keep up with my kids, really engage with them, and I'm not just struggling along. I feel like, especially if you're an American, the extent of what you do to boost your energy is drink a whole lot of caffeine. And you may or may not know this, but caffeine does not actually give you more energy. It suppresses the chemical in your brain that makes you feel tired. So you are just artificially not feeling as tired. There are other things you can do to make you feel good and energized holistically from the inside out without just having to rely on caffeine because this is gonna cause you to crash later and it kind of becomes counterproductive. If you are new here to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe Subscribe and go follow me over on Instagram at Vassar Beauty. I have a little giveaway at some point in this video and I'm going to be announcing the winner over on my Instagram stories this week. So make sure you're following me there. And with all of that said, let's get started. First tip, this is totally game changing if you are not familiar. And that is waking up during the prime optimal time in your sleep cycle. If you are woken up from a deep state of sleep, you're gonna feel groggy and that's gonna continue with you for the whole rest of the day. If you wake up during a light stage of your sleep, you're gonna wake up easier and you're gonna feel better. So how do you do this, you might be wondering. There are actually apps on your phone, also if you have a smartwatch. The one I've been using is called Pillow. And what you do is you set a window in which you need to wake up. So let's say you have to wake up between six and 7 a.m. Your phone uses motion detectors and also sound detectors, and it's able to tell what phase of your sleep cycle you're in, and the alarm will go off when you are in a light stage of sleep. So you'll be able to wake up easier and you'll have more energy. It makes the biggest difference from the moment you wake up. Now, when it comes to energy, Diet and nutrition are extremely important. No matter what else you're doing, if you're eating like crap, if you're not getting your nutrients, you are not going to feel good. So you really need to pay attention to what you are eating first thing in the morning. So what you want is a combination of protein, complex carbs, and healthy fats. That's the dream team that's gonna work together to give you sustained blood sugar, make you feel good, and not crash. My new thing I've been having lately is a good old fashioned smoothie because it's just easy to get a lot of different ingredients in there, blend it all up, I could drink it on the go while I'm watching two kids. So a little hack for my morning smoothie that I've been doing is I make it the night before. So I don't have to worry about grabbing all the ingredients, cleaning it all up. I have it all prepped and ready to go. I keep it in the freezer. In the morning, I wake up and I just pour in my liquid. So I put in some frozen fruit, whatever I have on hand, protein powder to get that added protein, nut butter for some healthy fat. I add a quarter cup of oats for some complex carbs. I throw in some spinach for added nutrients. And then I add my milk. It literally takes me under a minute in the mornings and I have a nice sustainable energy energy boosting breakfast. Now, speaking of nutrition, make sure you are taking your vitamins. Feeling good comes from the inside out and the vitamins that I am obsessed with, I swear by, are by Ritual. You guys know I'm a research freak and so are the people at Ritual. Their entire lineup of vitamins is all backed by research and the nutrients that are missing in your diet and how to fill in the gaps. So Ritual had actually seen that I tagged them in one of my Instagram stories because I started taking their postnatal vitamins and they reached out to me to sponsor today's video, which I am so thrilled to talk to you guys about because these are so amazing. I had a whole fiasco when I was pregnant. There was a study that came out that showed that the prenatal vitamins I had been taking had high levels of lead in them. I absolutely freaked out. So then that got me into this whole rabbit hole of researching supplements, what's actually in them, how do you know which ones to trust, and that is how I came across Ritual. Not only do they tell you, you know, obviously everything that's in the vitamins, but where everything is sourced from. And they have a huge focus on sourcing each individual ingredient from the highest quality source possible, and they list where everything comes from, which is just unheard of. I've never seen a vitamin company do this before. They have all different types of supplements, a regular multivitamin, they have the prenatal, and now they have the postnatal, which I am so thrilled about because this is going to help support me and what I need now in my postpartum period. What I also love about these is 
they smell incredible and it helps with the taste of that DHA so you don't have any fish burps later. This is actually oil that's sourced from algae, so it's vegan as well. But that peppermint just really helps it go down easier. The prenatal ones have a lemon flavor to them. Also, I love that I have these on a subscription. It's just one less thing I have to think about. So these have the nutrients that are filling in the gaps in your diet because even if you try your very, very best to eat as healthy as possible, some of these nutrients are just hard to get through diet alone. So that is where these come in. They have no nasty like fillers or additives to them. They're vegan, they're sugar-free, they're allergen-free. They are just pure high quality supplements. So right now Ritual is offering my subscribers 10% off for your first three months using my code, which is Vassora. So I will have the link and my code down in the description box. These are my favorite supplements I have ever come across and you guys know how much I research things. So I know you guys will love them too. Did you know that 75% of us are chronically dehydrated and the number one symptom of dehydration is fatigue. So a lot of times we think we're tired, but we're actually just dehydrated. So before you start chugging your caffeine, drink water, drink a whole lot of water. And what I do in my little hack for drinking more water, get a water bottle that has the timestamps on it. So you can track how much you're drinking throughout the day. A lot of times we get distracted, we get busy. We're not remembering how much we're drinking or if we're even drinking it at all. I am filming this right now at 9am and look, I'm right here at 9am. So I'm on track and this is how much I need to drink by 11 one and so on. I also put electrolyte powder in my water that gives it a little bit of flavor, makes me more apt to drink it, and that also helps me better hydrate. I recently switched from being a lifetime nighttime shower person to now a morning shower person. And let me tell you, it makes such a difference in my energy levels because of a little hack that I do. This is a two for one hack because it gives you two different benefits. The last 30 seconds of your shower, turn it all the way up to ice cold, as cold as you possibly can stand it, and just submerge yourself in that cold water. That cold water is going to not only wake you up, but also bonus tip, it helps with your hair to look shinier because it will close up the cuticle on your hair. So you'll have shinier hair and you'll have a little jolt that will wake you up. Next up is get yourself moving and specifically if you can, get outside and get moving because that's gonna have multiple benefits. First of all, being outside, you'll get the vitamin D, which helps with energy. I'm such a big advocate of making sure you get enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is also in Ritual as well. You get yourself moving, which gets your circulation going, you get those endorphins going, that makes you feel good and energized, but also, being outside in nature is proven to have such amazing effects on your overall well-being. And if you are not able to get it in the sun and outside, another alternative, they make these light therapy lamps that simulate natural sunlight. So this is something you can sit in front of and it will help boost your energy and your mood levels. This is especially great to have if you live somewhere where it gets dark early and there's really not a lot of sunshine. This can do wonders for lifting your mood. If you're going through the day and you hit that mid afternoon slump, which I think a lot of people do. This is my little go-to peppermint essential oil. I actually keep this on my desk at my computer. And if I'm starting to feel lower energy and my see my focus is waning, open this baby up and I take a sniff. And something about this just revives me and gives me that little extra boost to keep me going. Do you have a lot of energy today? Yeah. While we have Carter here, we can talk about the benefits of snacks and making sure you're eating consistently throughout the day. You want to have your snacks and eat something every couple of hours just to keep your blood sugar nice and stable. Have a good hearty snack like an ounce of nuts. My go-to is nut butter with sliced apple. Hummus is a good one. Cheese and crackers. Something that's actually sustainable and not just you know candy or junk. This next one is something that my mom has recently discovered and she swears by. So I'm gonna pass it along to you all. They now make cold pressed coffee bean oil and you can actually get your caffeine through the oil by applying it topically. So you don't get the bad effects of that crash or the jitters, you just get that really nice clean buzz feeling and so what she does is she puts a little bit on the inside of her wrist and she said that it makes her feel amazing. Next is the concept of biological prime time, BPT. And what you want to do here is track your natural energy levels and work with 
your own habits and your own natural predispositions versus against them. So if you are naturally a night person, even though society tells us that it's better to be a morning person, you might actually be your most productive and your most energized in the evenings. And that's okay. You don't have to work against yourself, try to force yourself to be a morning person. Just be aware of what times you generally feel the most energized and stack your day and your activities around that. For me, I know that I feel the best generally between 9 a.m. and noon. So that's why I do my filming now at that time. I used to film later in the afternoons and it was such a struggle. Now I work with myself. And lastly, look, we need to talk about sleep. That is such a huge factor in how energized you're gonna feel, obviously. In my case, that's not really something I can control right now. The reason I didn't talk about it so much in this video is because I wanna do a whole separate video just talking about life hacks to sleep better and get more sleep and things like that. So I'm saving most of those tips for a future video. If you do wanna see that, give this a thumbs up because I tend to be kind of an anxious type person. I'm usually stressed out most of the time. So it's hard for me to fall asleep. Like I'll get in bed and then I'll be like, so what I do is I either read or watch something that is either very relaxing and calming or very dense. So the book that I picked up, it's called Thank You for Arguing. And it talks about all different philosophies and how you can use that to win in arguments. It's very interesting, but it's quite dense. And I find that I'm able to read like, maybe four pages and I'm out. So force yourself to read a good but dense book before bed instead of being on your phone. It will get you out in like 15 minutes. So anyway, with all that being said, I'm gonna stop there because those are the most effective things that I've been doing lately to keep my energy up despite the fact that I'm really not sleeping. Also, I didn't forget, I do have a little giveaway in this video. I'm going to be giving away my favorite water bottle to three of you guys watching, and I'm gonna have that going over the weekend, so the 21st and the 22nd. Go check out my stories, and you can win this water bottle. I've talked about it many, many times. I've now upgraded to the larger size. With all of that said, thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. Don't forget to use my link in the description box and my code to get 10% off your first three months using Ritual. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. So what are, what are Ryan's tips for having more energy? Honestly, I don't really have anything for you. I mean, I wake up at a thousand miles an hour. I'm just getting stuff done all day long. I'm boundless energy over here. I'm Mr. Energy. I'm zipping around. I'm accomplishing this. I don't have time to not have energy. You know, I, I really wish I could help, but low energy, it's just not something I struggle with.